What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial Adobe Illustrator CS5. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a web button. So I'm going to create myself a new file here. And I have RGB selected already, so if you don't, select RGB. And we have something new here in CS5 called Align New Objects to Pixel Grid. This option helps prevent pixelation. A lot of times when people post to a website, you might get pixelated graphics. This helps you get clear, crisp graphics. So we're going to select OK. Now I chose a document size of 8x8 and I can adjust it here with the R4 tool and we can make adjustments to what size we want. But for now I'm just going to leave it alone and I'll show you guys why at the end of the tutorial. So next I'm going to select my rounded rectangle and we're just going to make a button here. Now I have my rectangle selected and we're going to choose a gradient. So I have the gradient selected there and the gradient window here. If you don't have a gradient window open just go window gradient and let me select white over here and then blue and 90 degrees so that changes the direction of the gradient and we can play around the gradient here let's also set the opacity at 100 Okay, that's fine. And let's change the outline to like a gray. That's cool. We can leave that alone. Now that I have that selected, I'm going to lock this layer and then create myself a new layer. Take the text tool. Now the button is ready to go. I'm going to take this R4 tool. And we're just going to basically give ourselves a little bit of space around. So what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to save this document. I want the artboard to only surround the button. Now you could do this in the beginning of your project, but I'm just choosing to do it now. It's up to you. And I'm going to go Alt, Control, Shift, S. Or you can do File, Save for Web. Whatever you want to do. But I'm going to do all control shift s if you're on the Mac computer. It's option control shift s. And we're going to save this graphic for the web. Now you can do a GIF. It depends what your preference is. I like to use PNG24. I'm doing this so when I actually save it, I'll get that transparent background. So I'm going to select save. Let's call this button 1. Hit save. And then you think about it like a rollover. Change the color. We have a purple selected over here. Alt Control Shift S or Option Control Shift S. Hit save. Button two. Very simple to create a button in Adobe Illustrator CS5. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.